Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Bucked Up Podcast. If you don't mind hitting the like, subscribe button, we have new episodes coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. This episode is sponsored by Exotic Roots Hydro, which I have to give a huge shout out to. They are a huge supporter of the podcast, and I'm really happy to be working with them. If you're ever in Rochester, New York, and you need to learn about any of your hydroponic needs, go to their shop. You can follow them at Exotic Roots Hydro on Instagram. Shout out their whole team. They have an amazing venue space. Uh, They're going to be putting on tons of events. Just make sure to follow Exotic Roots Hydro on Instagram. And if you're ever in Rochester, definitely stop by. Let's get back into it. It was at this moment that he knew. He bucked up. Now he fucked up. Now he fucked up. Man, it's it's funny. Um, well, when I first came to Buffalo, it was for the uh, Griselda Kids opening. Mm-hmm. But the only person I knew in Buffalo was Mike. Yeah, yeah. Like that's literally all I knew about Buffalo was like the Mike shop. Yeah. And that Buffalo Kids was open, and that's it. <laughs> and the only thing I really I didn't even know what Mike's shop was. Like he gave me a little tour, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the only thing I wanted to see when I came to Buffalo for the first time was your mural. Yeah, that's yeah. What's up, and man. so I'm really happy Appreciate that we. You. I mean, it's been a year, over a year now, know, but I'm happy that we finally get to do that's this. And people also probably know your yeah, artwork definitely, from this, definitely, because this has been the backdrop a couple times, a bunch of times. Yeah, Crazy album cover. Yeah. Blaze's album. Cover. Oh yeah, this was Blaze's yep. album cover. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's crazy. How did you meet Mike? So I met Mike through a mutual friend and uh they were deep into cars, like building custom cars and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, I want to get into some of that. And I used to just like I used to love seeing cars with airbrushing and stuff at the car shows. And I'm like, I'm gonna get into it. He said, You said you should. So I'm like, all right, let's let's do it. When was that? This was like 07. Okay. Were you doing any, you weren't airbrushing at all before? I was just drawing, just straight drawing anything, but airbrushing was the next level. What about it when you saw it was like? Um, I just, I looked at it and I was like, I could do that. I know I could do that. So I just picked it up. And one year I just bought everything with all my, like my income tax money. Yeah. I bought everything. (laughs) But I was trash for like two years. I ain't gonna lie, I was trash. <laughs> Shit, man! I've spent all my money on yeah, all yeah, my yeah. podcast equipment. It was trash for yeah. a long ass time. So then, like YouTube, YouTube was like the greatest outlet. Like I, I was self taught basically mm-hmm. just by watching these guys, and I watched these guys that were just amazing. And I'm like, damn, I know I could do that shit. So I just kept it going. So you met Mike through the car thing. Yep. And then you were like, he was like, yeah, oh, he was into just... painting cars, like um, doing the base coats and, and wrapping them and wrapping shit. Because he has this, yeah, a car wrapped with this. Yeah. They did audio and all that stuff. So we, we went deep. We were. Was there anyone else doing that around here? There's a couple spots. There okay. was always a couple spots. Yeah. Yep. So you met him and you started just like learning yourself. Yep. Yep. Damn. Definitely. I feel like that medium's kind of hard to jump into because you're yeah. gonna fuck up a car if you fuck yep. up the paint. You take, know? take that uh reducer and wipe it right off. <laughs> mm. Paint thinner. You have to do it on like fuck, do you practice on like beaters and shit first? Yeah, all the time. I do I practice all the time. But uh the car stuff is a little tough. Yeah. Cause once you get into cars, it's like you get into another thing like the the paint underneath is chipping or something. Then you gotta fix that. And go over that. It's kind of tough, but it is what it is. Yeah. What was the first car you did? Just like the first car you painted. Actually, Mike's brother-in-law. I painted his tailgate. It was the very first automotive piece I ever did, and then it it came out dope. I ain't gonna lie. But then Mike had the Accord, chopped it up. He said, yo, I'm going to give you the hood. I want the leprechaun from the movie on it. <laughs> the first hood I ever did, that shit is fire. Even to this day, I'm I know that is fire. That was the first one. Yep. Damn. And so you were Mike, he still has it. Damn. How long were you like practicing before you did Mike's brother-in-law? I want to say like 
two years, 18 months or sure. yeah, it was tough because I was really bad. <laughs> Were you, looking back at it, do you, did you see that you had like natural raw talent or oh, were yeah. you really oh, yeah. good? See, like when I was younger, like me and my cousins, we would like we would like um, get comic books and they would be tracing them. Mm. And I'm trying to look at it, do it freehand. And I knew I was like, yo, I could do this. Yeah. So little by little pencil, um, color pencils, all of that, just little by little gradually building up my talent. No painting? No, no painting. Why? I don't know. It was just I, I was more, I don't know. I could adapt better to the to the the charcoals and the graphites from the pencils. Mm-hmm. Cause you could erase, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you could get get away with some stuff and then just color it over. But yeah, it was it was tough. Before doing that, before going to the car shows, did you ever have the idea for airbrushing before that? Um, nah, not really. Nope. That's what grew me, drew me into it. Okay. And even like the guys in the mall, you see the t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, man, I know I could do that. But I stay away from t-shirts. I don't Why? Like do a t-shirt. Because if you do mess up, you got to get a whole new t-shirt. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but the, band, the cost is like, cheap. <laughs> the cost I'm going to spell her part. name or something. You oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like typing on a typewriter. Yeah, it's like, nah, I don't even want to deal with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. nope. <laughs> so it was two years from you meeting Mike to him having you paint his brother-in-law's yep. car. Who Did he come to you with the idea? Yes, he did. Um, Because it was already, he wanted to... He wanted that whole St. Paddy's massacre. He wanted to just kill it with the iris. So I seen the color combinations, mm. the flakes on the car. I'm like, yo, this is going to be crazy. But I mean, what made you knew you were ready? Um, well, Just practicing at home, like learning certain steps and knew that I was comfortable doing it. Mm-hmm. That gave me the, you know what I'm saying? It gave me more, more ambition also. Yeah. Yeah. Were you doing murals or anything? No, I was just doing little stuff like on um small canvases, poster boards, and like your know, typical t shirt and stuff. Yeah. So you were okay. When did you start doing the murals? Murals is probably like a good five, ten years ago. Like I first mural I did was probably like my cousin's barbershop, stuff like that. Little stuff here and there. Yeah, man. When did you do the um, the Benny one? The Benny joint was 18, 19. It was, uh, I want to say it was 2018. Yeah, summer. My first first time doing, um, so I did an art festival that they have here in uh, August. It's called the Boo Floof. This shit is crazy. Benny was like, Still, you know, coming up, they were all coming up and they were headlining that shit, killing it, killing it. And then next year I was like, damn, Mike, Mike talked me into doing the Benny joint. He's like, you should do it. I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So he came to you with the He came to me with the idea. He's like, we should do this. I said, all right, bet. So that it worked out great. And you had been doing them a little bit before Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And is it, it's four... Or no, you did it on the, how did you, did you put it out on the wall for, like yeah, you painted so, it out on the wall? So or? I framed it. We, uh, we bought the wood and we framed it with, um, uh, sheet metal sheets, stainless steel. And then I, so I'm, that made it portable. I could take it to the festival. I painted it live in front of everybody. You did that live? Oh, I did it live the whole day. Damn. Yeah. How long did that take you? Probably like 12 hours. Shit. Yeah. I showed up at like eight in the morning. Were people noticing what you were doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Once I once I had it like halfway through, they're like, oh, <laughs> crazy. And did you have the idea of putting it on the outside of the building? Um, Originally, that was Mike's idea. They were going to put it up on the building. And that's crazy. The song, <laughs> the song came out about that. I know, I know. Crazy, man. Did you know the uh, Mr. Pyrex man? Did you just heard no, it? I didn't know the- that was coming out. But he did tell me when we seen him. We went to his uh, concert, Sony Music Hall in Manhattan. We we're backstage. He's like, "Put your shit in a song," and I was like, "I right, bet." He's like, "That's when he was like, 
they putting pictures up on the block I used to make money on and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's up. <laughs> that's really cool. Hell yeah. That's all. Is that uh so when that dropped, you just oh, I went crazy. <laughs> I went crazy. I was sharing that shit out of that shit. <laughs> that is I mean, that's such like an iconic piece for I Buffalo. I know. And then like um Mike's Buick mm-hmm. that has all the mobsters on it. Mm-hmm. That was in the broken bottles video. When that shit came out, I went nuts. <laughs> I went nuts because the whole opening in the video was just the car. And I'm like, oh shit. And Two you weeks went later, crazy. it was like 400,000 views. I was like, oh shit. It was crazy, man. It's all love, man. That is wild. Yep. Were those, when those happened, like going back to before you were, like when you were just drawing? Or when you were just like starting to airbrush, did you think like, no, did you know where it was going to take you? Probably. No, I didn't. Actually, I was just playing around with it at first, you know. But then once I started getting better, I took it more serious. I see. I seen the potential in it when you invested in yourself. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. That's like a real thing. And I was talking about that on a past episode. But like when you don't invest in yourself, like with a business, a business isn't going to make money the first couple of years. Ooh. Nope. But they're going to keep making it work until it does. It's the hardest decision in your life. It's one of them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't make that Sacrifice, decision. Sacrifice, yeah. man. That ignorance is bliss, I think, really goes down to that. It's True. like, do you make the decision to just live, just pass by and maybe do things successful, but like yeah. not go with your true calling? Yep. Or are you going to sacrifice everything for what you want to do? Got to do it. Yeah. Sooner or later. Yeah. When you were younger, younger, did you want to do be an artist? Like, did you want? Oh, yeah. I knew I knew since I was young, like grammar school and shit. My art teachers, they'd be like, you're on another level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, and I was like, oh, okay." And the thing that pissed me off about like art classes, even like like um, elementary and stuff like that, all these kids. Yeah, you put them all in our class. One kid draws something cool. They all try to copy him. So it's like separate these kids and see who really got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them have fun and not try to compete with everybody. I I, no, I told because I think the barrier entry for art is like it has to be perfect. But then <laughs> you realize with any art that imperfection exactly. is what makes it work. Exactly. And so like you have like no kid is taught to be like abstract in their art growing up. Exactly. It just comes out. Yeah. It's natural. Do you think this is a more like philosophical question, but do you think that good art is bred because it's pushed back in society? Like, do you think if art was more like appreciated, like kids were less people would like really push to do it? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I guess it could. I mean, yeah, I can't. I don't know. Because doesn't I? I don't know. But like for me, I like being able to like I do it because people don't think I can. Yeah, yeah. But also, that's also circumstance. You know yeah, exactly. Huh. Yeah. So when you were in school, do you think you were born with it? I don't, I I would say so, you know what I mean? Because like, you look at other kids, you know, at at my age doing it, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> was it something that was like bred at home, or did or do you think you just found like? Do you think it found you? Um, I think it was probably at home. It's coloring when I was little. Crayons, I I colored all my mom's walls, graffiti, all <laughs> scribbles everywhere. That shit got me in trouble a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, that's cool. That's funny. It got you in trouble, but that's kind of what we were to like. Exactly. That makes you want to be good at it. Yep. It's like if I got in trouble, it's funny. I maybe because we're high and it's the morning, but like <laughs> I used to get in trouble for like saying crazy shit. Yeah. And okay. now I'm a comedian. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like I took that shit and I'm like, <laughs> all right, if that's not gonna be good, I'm gonna make it worth my while. That's crazy. What did you think you were going to be doing with art when you were younger? Um, I probably thought I was going to just just do little stuff here and there, 
try to get a, get by. But I also knew for a long time that every artist is a struggling artist. Half of these motherfuckers ain't rich or famous to their dead. Come on, man. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Some real shit. And, and the problem with there's a lot of artists, but there's different different categories. You know what I'm saying? Somebody does this, somebody does that. But everybody hates on each other too. This whole city, the whole city is all artists. If you think about it, you go down to Allentown, anywhere down in the city. Girls everywhere. Everybody's a damn artist. <laughs> yeah. But I think people think that there's like a limited slices of the pie. Yeah. But when you focus on your own shit and you don't even, you realize that's not what it is. Yeah. That's that, why half the time I don't even pay attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? I keep to myself. Yeah. I'm in the studio, the dungeon, whatever you want to call it. Damn. Yeah. So you're from Buffalo? Mm hmm. What do you think about Buffalo breeds all the artists? Got some good ones. I know that. <sighs> Definitely got some good ones in Buffalo. But what do you think about it? Because I do feel like it is uh, more um, held to a different standard than other places. Yeah, I guess so. Just been, just been down to all our life, this city, man. You know what I mean? Never got no respect. Never got no respect in the city. It's just little by little, it's the grind. People got that grind, man. Yeah. That's what it is. That's that's really what it is. A lot of people describe, did you feel like there was no respect before? Oh, yeah. Like it was it a hell yeah. Like a cloud over the Yep. Do you think things are starting to change? Hell yeah. You can see it. I see it every day. I see people coming up every day. It's great. When do you think it started to change? Probably like the last five years. I've seen it. Yeah, like five years. What do you <clears> think <throat> it was? Actually, just the boost. Everybody had a little boost in them. They're like, this person could do it. That person could do it. You know what I mean? That's that mentality. You're like, I want to eat too. Yeah. Everybody's hungry. But that's what we were just talking about, where it's like, when you realize if one person do it and you can do it, not one person can do it and you can't do it because that person does it, then everybody can eat. Like, yeah. shit, I know I said it, but like, so literally the day before I started this podcast, 15, 10, whatever, a large group of close friends told me I shouldn't do it. Yeah. Because there were too many podcasts and like, why, like, why not one more? You know what I'm saying? And then everybody's eating. That's exact. It's there's not like a you know, that's so dumb Come to on. me. It's like but everyone has that thing. And that's the the decision you have to make. True. Do you remember the day you made the decision? No. 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 It was a gradual thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, I if people listen to this, they probably <clears throat> listen to my podcast. They probably have a different idea of how I view DMT than how I view DMT. <laughs> but the day I did DMT is when I made that decision. Yeah. And I still don't know if it was a real situation or if I just did a drug in a dude's basement. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but that day was the day I made a change. Man, that DMT shit scares the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought about it, but. I don't know. How was it? Less scary than I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. Nice. It's um you know what it's like? It's like when you hear someone talk about like a religious experience, like an actual religious experience. Mm -hmm. It's like that's what it reminds me of. <sighs> like yeah, you feel a real connection to wow. like something higher. That's crazy, man. And you're good, like you're an artist, so you're good with i think if someone was like working a corporate job and they had a family they weren't really happy with and they like you know and they did it they you probably would have a bad trip <laughs> you know what i mean but, being a psych ward <laughs> exactly but you have to kind of yeah you ever fuck with any hallucinogens or anything shrooms yeah yeah shrooms yep that's about as far as i went yeah no that's all i've mm -hmm. did tmt three times in my life 
and shrooms i've done countless times mm-hmm. but that's really all i've never done coke never done pills the never fucking done... shrooms is crazy yeah it was definitely crazy how old were you when you first took them probably a couple years ago oh really yeah, yeah what made you take them for the first time just chilling just you know country out in the woods just chilling it was fun yeah have you ever had like what have you ever had like a taken too much trip too hard no I, I never went too crazy with it. Mm-hmm. You know, I see people eat a quarter and shit. And like, yeah, yeah, I was with, like, how are you standing? How are you? Eating? I was with fucking me fucks, the producer, and he ate a half. Oh, hell no. Oof. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I, but I feel like that's how people see edibles with me because I'll take like a thousand milligrams or something. <sighs> Yeah, I can't do even the edibles. The edibles are no joke. There's no coming back from that shit. Once nah, you yeah. eat, you know, once you eat it, it's over. Yeah. You eat the wrong shit, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I like that feeling. <laughs> no way. Do you feel like the mushrooms helped your art? Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I, I think if I did it more, probably. <laughs> do you do art while you trip? No, I never have. I always did it while we were camping and shit. Mm. Yeah. Are you a big out camper? Yeah. I'm not. I'm nah. not a, I mean, like, I like the, I'm like an outdoorsy person, but I don't like camping. I like just going out to just chill, man. You know? Yeah. We just go out and chill. I like showering. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit, that's it. Like, I don't even care about sleeping on the ground. <laughs> I don't care about any of that shit. I just like to, like... Even if I don't shower until like three in the afternoon, my day doesn't start until oh, I shower yeah. for the first yeah. time. No, <laughs> no, we got a whole like a whole cabin and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I had a really. It's not rough in it. No way. No, no I, I'm <laughs> just. I just had a really bad first camping experience, mm. and now I just like. <laughs> nope. Yeah, <laughs> like when we were in sixth grade at my school, like the whole uh, was it eighth grade. Well, it doesn't matter. We all went up to this place called Chewankee in Maine. Mm -hmm. And we all like camped out for three days or whatever. And then there were, they decided to put the four biggest dudes in a tent. (laughs) So it's just like you, me, and two other dudes that look like us just in this tiny tent. Bunch of polar bears. Yeah, it's a bunch of, and then the second night a kid pisses himself. And there's no showers, so oh. like, it's just all our shits and piss for the next. Damn. And so, yeah, that's why. Yeah, I, I could see that. That's why I don't really <laughs> like camping. <laughs> you know that shit that, like, one experience just ruins everything yeah. Oh, yeah. for you? Oh, yeah. That's, I've had a, yeah. Jeez. People have that with alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Yep. What piece are you most proud of? Um, I mean, the Benny, the Benny one was the one that got me the most recognition so that would probably be it when you went in that day did you know it was going to be something special halfway through like halfway when the festival started picking up like people started showing up and i'm like damn i turn around there's more people more people and they're all just standing there watching me and filming me and stuff it was cool what's your process um what do you mean? Uh, like your start to finish? Yeah, like your mental. I I would say like your mental process. Yeah. My oh, mental process. I usually spend the whole night before thinking about what I'm gonna do, like strategically. Like I'm gonna lay this down first. This is gonna save time for this. Mm. And do you sketch it out? Write plans? No, nope. I just go right at it. Yeah, man. The only thing, um. Like, other than the Benny piece, but I, I always think about, like, when I do people's loved ones, when I do portraits of somebody that passed away or something, even it's worse when I knew them. They got shot or something, and I knew that, you know, I knew this person, and I'm painting it. It's crazy. And then when I give it to the person, and they start crying, that's what does it right there, bro. It's, that's what does it. That's beautiful, mm-hmm. though. Oh yeah, because that is like a, a part of them that yep. lives on. Yeah, yep. and as I'm painting, I'm like, damn! I just talked to this dude two weeks ago. You know? Yeah, crazy. 
Do you get emotional when you paint? Sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, when you get into that flow state. Yep. Night before you think about it. Day, what's your mental day of doing it? Like, I want to know, like, the artist, like, how, like, what's your mind state? Do you just go in and be like, I'll figure it out as I go? Or are you Sometimes, like. I mean, I guess it changes. You know, mm-hmm. you get some jobs and stuff. You're like, I'm going to just run with it. You know, but then stuff you were really interested in, like the concept, you're like, damn, how am I going to do this? Yeah. Is this going to look good this way? It starts fucking with you. <laughs> yeah. When you know the person, is it tough to like create them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, you mess something up, like, Somebody's eyes a little higher, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. like, yo, I know this lady. She's gonna get mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Damn. Do you like? Do you come up with the idea for this? Do you like for this? this- so, so Mike came at me with the concept for this. He came up with this, and everything else around it is on me. He's like, I want this with her standing there. This bitch gave me nightmares. I ain't gonna lie. Really? I swear to God, this bitch gave me nightmares. Like, her face is like, <laughs> and her energy is, it's like a good one, but it's a scary one. I did this one car, Angels and Demons. Half was Angels, half was Demons. It took me about a month. The half fucking car gave me nightmares. What about it? Just painting fucking demons all day and zombies and shit. Mm. It's just crazy. Does that, yeah, that's what your mind state turns to? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but this came out good, man. Damn, you get nightmares. It's, you don't feel power, like, from create, like, you're in charge of it? <sighs> no. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, just, like, little images in your head while you're sleeping. You're like, shit. <laughs> do you feel like uh, you create the art, or do you feel like you're a conduit and it comes through you? Um, I think it goes both ways sometimes. Because uh, creativity just, you know, some people got it. Some people just, they'll actually make a mistake and be like, that actually looks better. You know what I mean? And think about it like, no, I'm going to leave it. But it's, it's, a tough, uh, it's a tough thing to achieve when it comes to painting. Yeah. How do you get to your mute? Like, how do you, do you just do it when it comes to you? Usually, like, most people give me a concept. You know, just run with it. They trust me. They go, I trust you. Do your thing. I know I'm going to love it. So most <laughs> people give you the concept. Oh, yeah. Do you ever do stuff for yourself? It's tough because I'm always so busy doing stuff for other people. That's the tough part. Would you want to more? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's your, like... This might be a dumb question, but like, what what do you like to paint or draw? Um, portraits is always my best. I always love portraits. But I mean, when you didn't, if you didn't have anyone like telling you what to do, what would I be? would probably just draw like famous people, paint famous people. Like right now, I got a Conway joint in my basement. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like eighty percent complete. I got a J Skis um picture that I was supposed to give to him for Christmas, but. Everything got set back. Oh. Yeah, I was supposed to finish it, but it's coming. It's coming. That's dope. In the same, are the, is what's the style of those? The kind Black and piece? white. Um, airbrush. Like the... Just, just a portrait, face portrait. Okay. Yeah. Do you still do the car? Um, Every once in a while. I get a lot of, like, motorcycle stuff, tanks mm. and stuff like that. Tanks? Mm-hmm. Oh, like on right the now, motorcycle. So like a tank on a motorcycle. Yeah. I thought you meant like you were painting tanks. Oh no. I was like, <laughs> that wish. would be crazy. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. <laughs> nah, but right now, um, so my buddy's dad passed away a couple weeks ago. He's like, I want you to paint on the urn. He brings an urn, it's a fucking motorcycle tank. Oh my god. And he's got a display so where it spins. That's what? crazy. I said, bro, I'm gonna make you cry. He's like, oh shit. It was crazy, man. So I'm starting that 
tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yep. When did Mike bring you in to do, so he came with you two years after that. And then when did he come to you with the one out there with the three? Um, um, that was probably, that was a couple weeks ago. That was like three weeks. That ago. one's crazy. The portrait, because uh, just the, yeah. He always sends me some shit and I'm like, all right, let's do it. Yeah. I liked it because How- the wall was already gray to mm-hmm. begin with. So I just laid down my blacks, come in with my lights, hit it with blacks again, and then finishing off with the highlights. How uh, how long after you get an idea do you get, like, have it envisioned? Probably within, like, the first couple hours. Usually he throws me something, I'm like, we're going to do this. I'm going to smoke it behind it. Yeah. And then he came at me with the bullet holes. He's like, yo, put some bullet holes. Cause it uh the wall had, you know, little holes and stuff from the screws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then the bullet holes work perfect. Mm-hmm. What was your style when you were a kid? We did you want to do portraits and stuff like that? Yep. Do you remember the first thing <clears throat> you drew that you were like, oh damn? Um Probably, uh, which one was it? I think I did like a Yankees, like a Mickey Mantle. And I was like, oh my God, that shit looks real. How old are you? I was probably like 16. I was like, yo, still in high school, you know, still in art class. But that was the thing with our art class. Everybody was good. Everybody was like real official. So that drove you. Has anyone else, is anyone else doing it still? Do you like do you have you kept in contact? Actually, no, I don't know, but I'm sure some of them are really good. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure they're doing very well. Did you ever <clears> go <throat> away from it? Like, did you ever? I did for like two years. I was probably like six years in, seven years in, and I was just like I'm so sick of dealing with some certain people and. Cause I don't even want to do this shit no more. And I just stopped for a while. And then I started picking it up little by little. I was like, we just do just this. stop me, cold turkey. Yeah. And then I was like, let me just do this without nobody knowing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I started getting my skills back. I was like, bam. Then Mike came back in the picture. And it just kept rolling. <laughs> what made you start again? Um, Just them just hyping me up. Like, oh. Let's do this. You could do this. Were you doing anything like drawing on the side or did you just? I was just uh, chilling, working. Did you miss it at all? I did. I did. Well, it was it was tough, but I just didn't want to deal with, you know, people and pricing and, you know, everybody wants something for nothing. And I hate. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hate like asking someone or someone tells you a price. And it's yeah, it's, it's the, tough. the money thing is it's the yeah. tough part about it. But it's like it's art. You know, they always say, you know, your tattoo, but this is on my skin. OK, but this is going to be on the wall forever. You yeah. will be dead. My shit's still going to be up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So why not pay my price? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. you're. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna be dead and gone. <laughs> <laughs> that we, is tough. We still got artworks. You yeah. know what I mean? Old ass artworks. When did you realize your price? Or like your worth? I guess that's a better well. Answer. Basically, I would just like check everybody else out. I'm like, all right, well, she's doing it for this price. I know I could get it for this price because I'm better than her. You know? Yeah. That's how I that's how I always did it. Yeah. You have the Conway piece. You have the one that you're starting tomorrow. Do you have any other like big pieces that you? Um, what else did I do? I've done like man caves. Like, but whole... do you have any coming? Like, do you have any oh, like... coming? Yeah, I do actually. I got two big frames that I'm gonna stretch soon. I got a bunch of jobs I got to do first, but I'm gonna drop something. And it's going to be bills related. 
Oh Buffalo yeah, Bills related. It's coming. People were upset, bro. My hand right now for smacking the table last night at the bar. That shit was crazy. <laughs> hand hurts from it. Cause every time we scored, I'm like, Ooh, go crazy, and then it was over after that. But it is what it is. Yeah, you have money on it. Nah, nope. people are crazy with us. People boy. are. Yep. People are crazy yep. with that sports betting thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like the same way how I feel about like <laughs> when people smoke blunts. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, you're smoking it. To- you're smoking tobacco. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But just like admit to yourself, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. smoking tobacco. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel when like <laughs> people with sports bet. It's like, it's fine, but you're gambling. Like you have a gam- <laughs> like you have a gambling problem. It's OK, but just admit it. Yeah. Like- <laughs> That's crazy. Man, thank you for doing this. This was yeah, awesome. Yeah. I'm, ha- I'm happy because honestly, like you were like the first artist in Buffalo I yeah, wanted to man. see. And that's what's up. Man. I'm happy we finally you. got to sit down Definitely and like people you. finally get to know this. Yeah. Did it still haunt you? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> She's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and now, is this who he has tattooed on his back? No, no. He's got them. Doesn't Mike have this? Mike got it, this tattooed on his that's back. What he got on his back. Yeah. Oh man. Let's get Mike in. Someone go get Mike in here and tell him to take his shirt. Oh, off. hell no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <kind of> crazy. <laughs> 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 no, but the Mike got this on his back. I'm pretty oh, sure. God. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. We're, We're gonna have to figure this out on the this. podcast before. See this. You have any of your work tattooed before? Um. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit. Um, I, that was another thing. People come to me, can you design a tattoo for me? It's like, what do you got tattoo artists for? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's there, on. yeah. Like, let them do that. Nah, I'm that's saving real. them the time and all that. Nah, that's real. You have any tattoos? Yeah, I got. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, I did. Uh, some cool stuff. Spider Man. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, and then I got my cousins tattooed up here that died. Yeah. Yeah. Big Spider-Man fan. Yeah. I just did my son's bedroom a couple days ago. Oh, really? Fire. You gotta see it. Oh, I did you have pictures of it? Yep. Oh, I'd love to see yeah, it. You gotta, yeah. You gotta see it. Uh, did you like the new movie? I didn't see it yet. You didn't Damn, see it. Hand. Yeah, you Fucking got so smack in the day. You did it while I was rolling the joint. Nah, the lead went everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm you gonna didn't see, see it, it yet. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. He's coming. Yeah, I'm gonna see it soon. I'm see, all right. Yeah. Do you have a fa- favorite Spider Man? I don't know, man. I like the one with Toby. Mm. The, the first one. The OG. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. But uh, my my favorite one in my son's is the one with um, into the Spider Verse. Oh, that yeah. one's yeah, dope. Bro. Yeah, that's just like three D. Like now, nah, the art on that's the crazy. Graffiti. Oh, it's dope. It's- is this what you have tattooed on your back? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you to show it on camera. We don't need to take your shirt off on camera. I don't think your camera's that big. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, it's my whole back, though. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you from the side. Yeah, no, that's fine. We don't. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know. No, he didn't I, didn't, know. I thought it was uh, the SOA. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a little. No, I've seen Martha with the scales and all that shit. Yeah. It's not that exact picture, but it's just a different. Yeah. Of the same Martha. So. Still scary. I don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I thought you were having freestyle raps too. Nah, stop it. <laughs> he does. He's on Great Escape. Are you? With yeah. This boy Rook. Yep. Yeah, I got a verse on there. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I used to rap a long time ago. You don't do it anymore? Nah. Other than on the Great Escape. Yeah. He, well, he made me. He made me like. He's like, yo, come here and listen to this beat. Arch he's, like, your, he's yeah. like, sure. Wouldn't it be nice if you and Sam got on this beat? And I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, let's do something like that. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But you're done. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not rapping anymore. <laughs> I'm good. You got your art form. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what I mean. You got to put most of your time into something 
It, well, yeah, you, you know, have to dedicate. You have tough. to make the decision about the yeah. Yep. I feel you. Well, you get me drunk enough, I might spit some shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you so much for doing yeah, this. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate, appreciate you. you for definitely, us. man. All right. Do you, uh, where can people find your? Do you have Instagram? Uh, oh yeah, yeah pa- Ponds. Yeah, Ponds. It's, it's on the back. Underscore O two B O R N E Airborne. Airborne was already taken. <laughs> So I had to go with that. O2 born. And uh, let me see the Spider-Man pictures after yeah, we get off. Yeah, definitely. Peace out, everyone. Peace. This has been Bucked Up. <laughs>